surprisingly open. This is the beef place you were talking about over here? What place? The beef place is over here? No, no, no. That's 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 um on a different part of Brooklyn. But while we was heading there, I was like, you know what? They close at nine. Let me go before the sun goes down to Corny Island and let me take a look at you know the changes yeah, that's and happening. Then we can go later. Yeah, I figure we'll go afterwards, nine. yeah. Yeah, so we could at least hear the sounds, you know, of this yeah. what's going on around us. Hey, yeah, this is the YHI. Right? Mm -hmm. Superman before? Yeah. I have no memory of that. Oh, Uncle Eddie. Uncle Eddie, we went. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get some more Open for takeout and delivery. Call ahead, and they'll give us curbside pickup. So we can call and get a couple of hot dogs, and they'll drop them off to the car. So that's good, I guess. Depending on what your level of good is.
this place that says it's sugar. Uh -huh. I think that's where we got those hoodies last year. Yeah, that is. Where we it pulled is. those hoodies, right? Yeah. Those are some nice Brooklyn hoodies. Man. Yeah, they are. They have so much sugar in there. They got closed. You saw down that block? They do? Oh. Oh. How walk away? Do you think it's like this too? I don't know, buddy. But this is a ghost town. Cousin, I mean his uncle. Yeah. He was covered in them. He saw me and Maddie playing with the bowls, and when he first came out, he was like, "Guys, why are you outside?" <laughs> you know, these people are locked into their reality, son. <laughs> Nothing is gonna change that. He looked at me like this. Couldn't believe it. Why are you outside, guys? But yet, you were with me the other day. He saw us together. He said nothing. He waits to you for you to be alone, mm -hmm. and then says something. You know, people will fight to the death for their reality. You know that? That's what yeah. Morpheus said. I got such great video of you when you were two, three years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, they took the baskets out of the Wonder Wheel. The places that you sit in the Wonder mm -hmm. Wheel are missing. The way they took out the basketball courts, they actually took what? out they took out the baskets to the Wonder Wheel. What? And this is a historical site, the Wonder Wheel. That means you can't it can't be moved or changed. Obviously, what? that's not true. What? Where are the baskets to the Wonder Wheel? Whoa. <laughs> See, this is what I was saying. It's like they wanted to like make humanity look like very less desirable. There's like this part of me that says this has nothing to do with a virus and this has something to do with make us look like a ghost town, make us look like a dying race. That to me makes more sense than a virus. Why would you take out the baskets to the Wonder Wheel unless you was trying to prove some sort of weird point that everybody's dying and dead and the last thing we're thinking about is yeah because if it's closed off why would they take the things off exactly they just want to show oh yeah these this is a ghost city these wow yeah, these people wow come on let's take a walk on the boardwalk real quick since the boardwalk is still open Ghost city for real. So if I was an alien race coming to Earth and I saw that the Wonder Wheel and all this stuff is just halted, I would reconsider coming down here, which is very bizarre. 
you know, people are going to hear this kind of stuff, and I'm talking to my son. They're like, how could you put such horribleness, say these things to your son? He's going to you know, he's gonna be growing up confused. No, he's going to grow up wondering more than what he's giving. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is the need to take out the Wonder Wheel, the, the, the baskets out of the Wonder Wheel? What? I don't get that. Why? What is the point? Yeah. Oh, we can walk on the beach? Yeah, we probably could. Do we have the right shoes to walk on the beach? Let's button up that jacket, please. Please. Look at this. Everything just closed. But not, it's not that everything is. What was that? A lot, Tony, I already had a lot of garbage on the sand. Yeah, because there's a million people coming through here a week. Or, or hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Yeah, you could. Whoa, look at these dog tracks. Jesus. What the hell kind of dog was this? Big dog. Full of followers. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is so bizarre to see the place just deserted like that. Look at the look at the bungee cord. Remember the bungee cord thing? It's like it's still in the air. Look at that. By the way, this is the Samsung Note 10. I once said the Samsung Note 8, but I was wrong. It's the Note 10. LJ had to tell me. She was like, uh, it's the Note 10, baby. I'm like, oh, okay. Is that like a sandcastle? No, we, we're going back to the car. We're going to the ocean. He's happy. You know, I got to give his mother a break. She's doing the homeschooling with both the children. Aha, look, that looks almost like a... Like the prince from earlier. So. There we go. There we go. Yeah, baby. Break the rules. I love it. Be a rebel. You want to go back to the Rockaways, right? I want to go to the Far Rockaway again. Yeah, me too. Come over here, Daddy.
feel it. <laughs> Come on. Son, come on, let's go check out a couple of other blocks before I run out of space. Space. Space on my phone. Because this phone, it takes, even though you press delete, it still takes days for it to delete off your phone. Are your feet wet? No. These are waterproof. Mine's are. Your feet are wet, right? Yeah. Loving couple. I love that you guys are breaking the rules. It has, gives me faith in humanity. It really does. I hear an accent, not American. Oh, oh I'm from here. Oh, okay. I was about to say, maybe that explains it, but. Keep on fighting the good fight, y'all. I can't get over what they did to the Wonder Wheel. I'm so disappointed in what they did to the Wonder Wheel. Hey, get out of here! Uh, you think my shoes will be okay? Why, that they all wet and sandy? Look at the sand. Cody, you've been coming to the beach for a long time. You you know what you're getting into. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Let's not make it a big deal, okay? okay Go swim in the water if you want. Yeah. They can't say anything to you. I'm sure they can. No one's out here. Yeah, well, they'll find a way to get out here. When you break the rules. People can snitch, right? Yeah. Snitches get rewards. Remember that one? Yeah, I remember. And I said, wake you up. <laughs> Snitches get rewards. What was the point in taking out the freaking Wonder Wheel, wheel baskets? I don't get it. <sighs> What's going on here? Huh? What's going on here? That's the sand castle. See? It's something. You don't have to walk and destroy everything, son. Yes, I'm trying castle. to understand it. But you come and just destroy it. It's not helping me. Right? And there was something here as well. Of course, you didn't, you didn't try, you made pools. Oh yeah, you made pools. In the beach, we had a big office with some water in there. That'll get the sand off.
Look at the both trains moving. That's cool. I wish I had that. Neither have I. Almost looks like a mirror. Opposed to. That's really cool. Cyclone. Where you at, Cyclone? Where you at? There you go. Wow. History will definitely define us. Look at my son, this beautiful boy. I love that boy so much. And he loves running in front of people. He loves that. He's such a piece of work. <laughs> All right, come on, get in the car, get in the car. Okay. The other side, I got this door. I got it, thank you for being so nice. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time giving my channel an opportunity to talk a little avant-garde about reality and its fluidity and the possibilities that one can have when they let their minds come up with different ideas than the mainstream has in them. And the mainstream has told us what is going on. Let's step away from that as much as we can and let our eyes and our brains and much more radiation than the standard. Sorry about that. And our imaginations. Well, that's not, you know, it's not children that are blessed with an imagination. It's us adults that can still imagine and just wonder and not just imagine about buying a new Lexus and not just imagine about meeting the right man or right woman or having that family and that beautiful house we can actually imagine what's beyond the stars we can imagine and dream and wonder what do you think, Cody? What do you think about what I just said? I totally agree. Yeah, but give me more than that. That's easy. That's the easy way out. That, 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 that you're not, you're not like born with thing. Like, like you said, the imagination. You have to see stuff to get your imagination. You have to see stuff to get your imagination? Tell me what you mean. You don't certainly have to see stuff like, you have to really think to get in your imagination. You don't get your imagination, you get your imagination from your parents. Your what? imagination comes through parents? Tell me what you mean. Isn't it about, this is about like the type of kid. Right then, this is the type of kid. A type of kid? What mm -hmm. type of kid? Like that has imagination and has not. No, kids always have their imagination. It's just when they become grown-ups that they stop and they lose that. And I They lose all those good thoughts. Yeah, they lose all that wonder and imagination and speculation and trying to figure things out. Yeah. They lose all that stuff. And I would just implore people to please try to regain your imagination. Try to imagine the world unlike what the news is telling you. Unlike what... You know what we're being told. Yeah. Has any news reporters come down here and talked about the fact that they had to take out the baskets from the Wonder Wheel? Has anybody done that story and tell us why? Was it because they wanted to take this opportunity to maybe refurbish 
repaint, re, you know, like what's, what is the point here? I, I, I'm just.